Here's my Mace Sage 3 patch for Lion and the Lamb by Bethel. Just dragging it into my Nano Control concert template. And here we go. So we've got a few layers of Omnisphere. You'll need this plugin for it to work. Uh, so you can see there's a couple of layers of that going on. And I'm also using the Giant Piano by Native Instruments. Uh, great piano. If you don't have it, then you can just click this button here and then pick one of the main stage pianos um, by going to the ESX24 sampler and getting a piano sound. Um, Alright, so let's have a listen through some of the sounds. So starting off with the piano. Now if you want just a regular piano without all the octaves spread out, uh, then you can just turn off the chord trigger. And if you don't want the delay and reverb, you can turn those off as well. Um, but for this song, because I've got a little keyboard, I prefer to have it like this. Alright, the next sound we've got is an arpeggiator. And then a pad. So this sound morphs with the mod wheel. Got a bass sound. And a lead sound. To do the intro, you'll just start with all the faders up and the mod wheel up and the master filter down and fade it in. Going to the verse, just fade down the mod wheel. Then for the chorus, just fade the mod wheel up about halfway. When you get to the bridge, just use the master filter to take out the tops. Thanks for watching. You can download this main stage patch and Omnisphere files from chrislangmusic.com. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram, hashtag Ministry of No Tracks. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos coming soon.